Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Grassroots Season 3 Episode 12. First match here. kicking off today is Salford Arby versus Sheffield and Wednesday in the Smith. FA Cup. It's FA Cup football we've got for you. Last episode, um, here, yeah, long way to go. if you've been watching, we got the cash infusion the from the good financial here. takeover. I needed to use that really because League now that we're up in the championship, I, my uh, transfer budget is still only like a million pounds. Which, if we're going to push for promotion to the really Premier League, is just simply not good enough. We need today. better players. Well, we need to bolster the squad ready for that. So I need more so money. So we've uh, utilised one of those financial takeovers. We should have about 30 million in the account to spend on players now between now and the end of the season. And it's good that we're in. Uh, it's good that we're in transfer season. So once we finish with this match, we'll take a look at, at getting some uh, some new players uh, locked down. I'd still like to save some of the money and keep well, Gomez, keep home, Eddie and Ketia, potentially keep so uh, um, Aidan Barlow as well. But yes, it looks that way. we'll see. This formation went out of fashion for a number of years, particularly in England. But a few managers prefer to bring it back now. Also, if we actually do get to the Premier League, Massimo I have got Luka. another financial takeover stocked away that I'm going to save to just in case into. it doesn't carry over the money that I've got Stopping this season. There's a damaged muscle here, it might be a pull, it might be out for some weeks. The ball has gone up Stoppage time. Three added minutes. Potentially one last chance if I can get it down there quick enough. Whitehead. Striving really hard for the goal that surely will give them the victory here. But the time is against them. All about picking the right pass now as he cuts it back. Bury it! Oh, make. what a save! Would have gone behind here, but for this what a save! Yeah, it could have got a lot worse there had it not been for him. And in it goes. Oh, you could have let me That's finish it. off the chance. Level, and we will now have a replay, Alan. Oh, what a chance then from Enketia at the match. end. As losers in this match, really looking forward to the replay now. Well. It goes to a second leg then, to a replay, sorry. So we're still not out then, but we've got to play the replay, which kind of sucks. But look at that manager approval rating at the top there, 91 now. Doing a grand job. Um, let's have a look at our transfer budget then. Let's get rid of these first. Disappointed not to play boss, you're in charge and all that, but I felt I could have had a good game. Maybe I'll play you in the Brighton match, pal. Just relax. Squad rotation is important. Thanks for listening to me, boss, and giving me an extended run in the team. I'm much happier now. Good. Um, right, so transfer budget-wise, we've got about 24 million in the bank. So we've got to get some players in before the end of this season. So with it being, uh, with the transfer market being open now, Let's have a quick look who we've got on the list. It's just this kid, but he's not finished uh, being scouted yet. But he's got great stats. Look at that. Acceleration, sprint speed, agility, balance, all unbelievable. And he's 19 years old, so I'm definitely buying him. Obviously, as long as he comes back with a lower uh, value than 25 million. But we'll give it everything we've got for him. Um... Could probably do with a better a better goalkeeper as well. But the one we got was free, so I'm willing to stick with him for the time being. Let's have a look at any promising uh, promising players we can look into. He looks pretty good. Israeli from Brighton. Um, look, there's plenty of free transfer players again here. None of them are really very good, though. Uh, let's have a look.
quite a few players from the American teams there. Uh, here we go, 17 year old right mid. Got good acceleration, good agility, good jumping. Sprint speed's not so bad, balance is good. Okay, so that could be somebody we'll look at. Let's get him scouted. There we go, look at this kid. 25 years old centre-back John Thornley from Sheffield Wednesday. He's got good stats too, so let's get him scouted. He's on bad form. Yeah, well, with those kind of numbers, I'll turn him into a world-class centre-back. Real Salt Lake, look at his numbers. Jesus Christ. I could probably get him now, you know. Release calls, 910,000. Central attacking midfielder. He's got good reactions, great balance, great speed, great acceleration, great agility. What's his shooting like? Finishing, not too good. Short pass, well, you know, that's where he's, he lacks. But in terms of sprint speed and uh, agility, he's incredible. So let's stick him in the shortlist and we'll go for him right now. He's got a release clause of 910,000. So if I are sticking an offer of 750 maybe. Let's try that. Club isn't willing to sell this player, but you can pay his release clause. Yeah, let's do it. Let's negotiate with him. Try and bring him to Salford from Real Salt Lake City. <laughs> Right, let's say a rotation to begin with and see if that gets us anything. He wants to be crucial. Right, uh, let's counter it and put it up to important instead. Ah, he wants to be crucial, he wants to be a star, okay. Let's accept it then. Four year deal. I'll accept that straight away. That's not a problem. Um, disregard the release clause. Oh, so he wants a release clause. Okay. This guy means business. Now that's done, I'd like to discuss his salary. So it hasn't given me any indication what he's on at the minute, so I have no idea. But if I give him... If he's got a release clause of 3 million... Um, so if I go for, like... twenty, 20 I'll give him 25... Nah, I'm trying to think of what my other players are on. I'm going to go 25,000 a week, take a risk, and I'll give him a sign-in bonus of 250,000. And I'll stick a bonus on there. Goals. If he scores 15 goals, I'll give him a million. Because he's not going to score 15 goals, let's be honest. Good job. So we've got a new a new midfielder, new cam. Now we just need to wait another four days for this guy to be uh, finished scouting, and I'll stick an offer in for him as well. So slowly but surely we're building this team again. Um, Cole Bassett from Colorado Rapids got pretty good numbers overall. In fact, let's uh, get him scouted.
I'm going to shortlist him as well, actually. Um, no, I can't now. I'll go back to the list in a minute. Kieran O'Hara from Man United doesn't have great numbers though. Um. Oh. Wow. Let's shortlist him and we'll scout him. Sixty-two million. Yeah, I ain't got enough for that. <laughs> João Felix. I definitely don't have enough for that. Kubo is seventeen. That would be a marquee signing, wouldn't it? If we could get him. He's on ninety-two grand a week, though. Wages can't be having that. Not yet, anyway. Maybe next season. All right then, so we've got a couple of uh, irons in the fire, uh, so to speak. Let's move on to this semi-final second leg against Brighton. Christiansen have offered 230,000 for Joey Jones. I know he was looking for uh, playtime, so I'm going to accept it. His market value is between 155 and 230. And they've offered 230, so I'm going to accept that. Right then, biggest match of the season so far. This could get us to another final. It'll be for the second time since I've been at uh, Salford. It's probably going to be a beat. Oh, put my teeth back in. It's probably going to be a repeat of that final as well against Liverpool. So Statman Dog will definitely be interested in that episode. <laughs> Hopefully I don't lose again this time though. Typical rainy night in Salford for the biggest game of the season. First leg was 2 0 to us. We just have to prevent them from scoring twice. Really looking forward to what's going to unfold here, Alan. Just the difference between these two sides in the first leg, I think, was better finishing. Now the home team will fancy the chances of seeing the job through. Come on, top. Come on, Salford. Starts the match and the kickoff. This is the lineup for the home side. This is the way they like to play, isn't it? And it does allow them with three at the back. Technically, I should just play the ball play around for 90 minutes, shouldn't I? Front, which is a little bit unusual these days. Well, you look at that formation, you could interpret it as being a little negative, especially if that holding midfielder in front of the back three doesn't venture too far forward. But. Uh, an onus on the wide men as well to support those two lads up front. Go on, Santi, lad. Go on, it's a good ball, they could be in. Got in the way. Brighton will play with these players today. We put it up as a 5-2-3. It could be 3-4-3, three, three, couldn't it, if the wide players get forward from the back? Yeah, I think it's one of those. It could be anything the manager wants it to be he has got some very talented lads out there though set up to play on the break now this is a good opportunity to put the ball into the penalty area now oh shit he's got past well, a couple of star names that we're looking at today what do you think Alan well, two excellent attacking players. Great we tackle. Oh, come see. on. They're really enjoying good seasons, and I'm expecting a bit more of the same today. Came away with the ball then. But clearly a foul, but whether the referee sees that as a yellow card, he doesn't. No, I do like this ref, Martin. He doesn't get silly. He's fairly lenient now, and, and I'm with him on it. It's not a good cross, and it's gone out for a goal kick.
It's Smith. Go on, Eddie. On the attack here. Jaka, Trusser. Here's Wendell. Leandro Trusser. Continue to knock the ball around, looking for the opening. Oh, I knew he was going to do that. Shit. It's only been 25 minutes. Force this match into extra time. Well, it must be great to be a striker in this team when you've got this sort of approach play. And the setup for him was super. Well, it was. And I think as a striker, you know the chance is going to keep on coming. And that gives you an awful amount of confidence. And he showed it there. Excellent attacking play here. Can open up the opposition now. That's safely away. Oh, come on, lads. Harris Seferovic. Excellent interception. It's a good press from the team that have won the ball here. Eddie, get in, lad. Well, the reward is a goal for winning the ball high up the pitch. Well, we could see it coming, I think. I think even the team that's just conceded... Two goal cushion has been restored. Kept on losing the ball dangerous areas there. An important moment in this second leg because that goal has put them ahead on aggregate. Well, all that remains now is to do the basics well. No mistakes at the back. And when you look at the aggregate score, 3-1. Good Steer ball. Through. Go on, Troy, lad. 2-1. Get in. Good work for them in the second leg. And now Excellent response. On well, that's given them a, a great Brighton now need three goals to win this game. A bit more freedom to the game now. Remember the aggregate score, 4-1. Still danger here after this half clearance. They've shown him the inside and he's taken that opportunity. A very good first half of the second leg of the semi final. Very it's good indeed. Brink now of a place in the final itself. Well, they will have their strikers to thank if they get themselves through because they've been absolutely lethal. There's some movement in the dugout. We're going to get a change here. Wendell and another throw. Out into the wide areas now. Good ball, Gomez. Game over. Well, he's not far out, but you've got to be on your toes in these circumstances, and he was. Very important goal in the context of the two legs. And they are in the second leg now ahead on aggregate. Santi Gomez so smashes well, the nail well, in the coffin of Brighton. Games, but still a bit more work to do. Salford so on the way back aggregate. to the League Cup final ball. again. Vialba. Now, can he take them on? Possession given away once more. Well, they are the richest club in Germany by uh, distance, Bayern Munich, and they've spent some of their cash in signing this player. Well, he just come, got to be. That's an excellent stop from the keeper. We all thought that was in, didn't we? Warner played into the middle. Disappointed that that didn't lead to more. Clark, Christensen, Trusser, one or two players arriving in the middle. Well, you can see. Still 20 minutes to go. Smith. Oh. Oh, that would have been. A, is that a pen? It is. So far, 
penalty given, Alan, but no sign of a card. No, I think that's fair enough. I think penalty award is perhaps punishment enough. Santi Gomez for his second of the night. And puts away the penalty. 4 1 on the night, 6 1 on aggregate. Salford City here in the League Cup final again. Well, with a penalty, it doesn't matter how it goes in, just that it For goes the second in. time in three the way years. He up to it, you could just see he was going to score. So confident. And as far as the aggregate scoreline is concerned, 6 1. Time ticking on, just over 15 minutes to go. Well, he wants to run at them with the ball, it's good to see. Defended well. In goes the corner. Keeper up well to punch the corner. Gomez. And here's the shot. Oh. Quite keep it down, just over the top. Yeah, just... Promising forward play from them again. The referee has lost his marker there cleverly. Looking a problem until the clearance was made. They've lost the ball. That's it. Taken time, it's taken a lot of effort, but the final whistle has gone. It's over, and they are through this semi-final over the two legs on aggregate. It hasn't always been pretty, but they put the hard yards in, and I think they deserve it, Martin. Yeah, Liverpool won again 2-0 against Wolves, so that sets up the final. Salford City versus Liverpool at Wembley. Hopefully I can win this time. He's worth 775000 So they're both strikers. I think I'm going to go for... Baba Severin though. He's only 19 and he's overall 68. And overall 65, so yeah. Let's go for Baba Severin. Um, this player has recently joined this club and won't move again. Gutted. Keep him on the list anyway. Maybe we'll try next season for the Premiership. He's got a 4.2 million release clause. Right, I'll leave him scouted for now then. If it gets to deadline day and he still hasn't come back with any info, then I'll put a bid in. Deadline day's on Monday. So right, on to the final match of the episode. Derby County. Important that we get a win, obviously, as we're only a point ahead of Sheffield United at the top of the league and only two points ahead of Fulham so and Cardiff. So the top four are really close together. Let's see if we can squeeze one of these new players in then. Matan. Let's... I'm going to rest Gomez because he's been heavily involved in the last couple of games, but I'll keep him on the bench instead of Dosu. And I'm going to play Barlow as well instead of Smith. All right then, Matan, let's see what you're about. Can he add to the goals he scored already this season? He's already the top scorer in the league. What a match. And it's live. Yeah, it's a great day for football in this lovely stadium. Martin Tyler here. Alan Smith has joined me in the commentary area. Thank you. Our football Enjoy is from the EFL Championship in England. What a game this should be, Alan. Yeah, thanks, Martin. Well, we've got a couple of teams here that their strengths are attacking, no doubt about it. So I'm sure they'll be going at each other very quickly. Is that a corner? Well, here no. Here is the team sheet for the home side. This is the way they like to play, isn't it? And it does allow them with three at the back to have two main attackers up front, which is a little bit unusual these days. Well, they can be. Oh, this shit. This is how they love to play on the break. 
Good save. Brilliantly read by the goalkeeper. Yeah, all about positioning there, Martin. He's an experienced keeper and he showed it there. Oh. They're looking good when they attack. It's a good hit. The shot is blocked. Well defended. He's put in the corner. Oh, that's a lovely header. And they've opened the scoring now. 1-0 Derby. It was all about thinking quicker and planting a firm effort past That was a great header. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Derby County, number 14, John Marquis. Paul Jose Mpoku. Mpoku. That's a fine challenge, and he's got the ball. Some goal news for you, and it comes from the Brentford game. Alan McAnally. It's a Ooh. goal for Fulham. 23 minutes played. Fulham ahead. Eagle eyes, as always, from Alan McAnally. Strong, fair challenge. I mean, technically, if we Chicago. lose here, we could end up like fourth if the other teams all win. I think the wide man's got a chance here. There's space out near the touchline. Can whip it in now. Well, the team unable to find the pass there. They oh, he's giving it away. 2 0. Oh, nope. Oh, it's the Thank post. God for that. This is the sort of side with the credentials to win the league. And they're getting themselves in a good position to do that. They are. I mean, they've not been uh, phased at all by being top. Sometimes it can affect teams uh, in a in a less than positive way. But uh, they look as if they're made for that top ranking. And that was a very well timed tackle. We need to bring you up to speed with the whole City game. And Alan McInerney is in a great position to do that. And news of a goal, Alan. It's a second goal for Nottingham Forest. Thirty-one minutes. Oh, he's still got it. Cheers, Alan. Good block. Not too much time for extra touches here. Good play by Matt on there. Looking pretty promising so far. Put the corner in the middle. Well, that has cost them, but only a corner. It could have been worse. Corner played into the middle. Holmes. Lawrence Malone now can he take them on well it will be a throw in. he really does get up and down quickly fucking hell ref the ref blows for the free kick well decisive refereeing here he reached for the card straight away at that offence well you could argue he's been a bit harsh there maybe uh, another ref would have just had a word instead of booking him go trying to get the ball in behind Get in, lad. Good score. Good score. Good goal. <laughs> Bit too excited there. Come on. 20 minutes left. Sure the manager will be delighted Good with score. This. Fantastic teamwork. <laughs> Lovely ball through. Come on, Salford. Go at one all. Let's go attacking as well. Let's have them. Still 20 minutes to go. Holmes. He will be furious with himself for such a poor pass. Go on, lad. Striding forward, purposefully. Saw the goal oh! Well, he's skimmed the top of the bar here. I think the keeper was probably comfortable, but decent effort. Andre Wisdom. Paul Jose and Poku. Well, it's getting very wet down there now, but the pitch at the moment is holding up at the moment. Well, it is, and uh, it's the kind of conditions that you get mistakes in, and uh, for the defenders, they've just got to concentrate. Now, can they make this count? Keeping the ball well in a dangerous area now. 
Well, let's hear about the goal in the Brentford game from our man on the spot, Alan McAnally. It's another goal for Fulham. 77 minutes played, 4-0. That's Alan McAnally keeping us bang up to date. Now they can swing into attack, and he's got some help. Must take the lead here. No way to oh. the shot. Blocked. Goalkeeper able to make a save here. Eighty-five minutes played, five to go. Holmes. Trying so hard to make the opening there. Nearly. Go on, lad. Loy. They're looking for a winner still. As the clock runs down. Ah. Two more minutes to play. That of added time. Two minutes. Stoppage time, it's going to be a draw. Yeah. Good effort though from the boys, especially in that second half. Great score. We were the better team. We probably should have won that. But let's have a look at the rest of the results. Fulham won 4-0. So they're... Are they ahead of us now or are they just level with us? I think they're level. Um, oh, never mind. We'll soon find out anyway, won't we? Round 4 replay next against uh, Sheffield United. Dossu, boss, unless I get selected more often, blah, blah, blah. I'll have to consider my future. It's not all about you, buddy, but I'm going to say... You've still got your place in the squad. We've got a squad here. It's not all about individuals, pal. Joey Jones has gone. Not on target. Shut up. Of course we're on target. I've got a 91% approval rating. We're top of the league, or thereabouts. We're in the League Cup final. How can you say we're not hitting the targets? Crazy. Um, but that's where the old FIFA glitches come into play. Right, anyway, let's have a quick look at the league and see what the state of play is for the next episode. Pick competition, EFL Championship. I oh, was still top, but joint top now with Fulham and Cardiff. So, And Sheffield United are a point behind. So still top four teams are all within a point of each other. Crazy. Crazy times, but we're still top. So that's the main thing. So I'm going to leave transfer deadline day until the next episode. We'll kick off the next episode with that. Um, and we'll see where we're at. So in terms of matches, we're going to kick it off against Sheffield Wednesday in that replay. Sheffield Wednesday again in the league, and then Middlesbrough in the league. And there, at the end of the month, look at that beauty. That'll be in the episode after next. The match against Liverpool in the Carabao Cup final. Reading, Millwall, and finishing off the episode with Liverpool. Sensational. Right then, that's it from me for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you in the next one. See you later.